it's minus 15 Celsius outside and the seawater is also well below zero. That doesn't stop this team of biologists launching a $5 million robotic submarine and dropping it down 700 metres to the ocean floor near the coast of West Antarctica. While busy taking samples, something they've never seen before happens. We have this a sea star, more precisely a brittle star, crawling on the seafloor, which we believe in a mud or scavenger. But suddenly, you have a fish just crawling and just hit the fish with a poison we don't know yet, because that's just new. We've never seen that before. And it just, and the fish lay on the side, and suddenly this brittle star just unroll it and start to eat a fish, which can swim at a, at a speed much, 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 much faster than any kind of of sea star who can crawl on the sea floor. So that's quite amazing just to see that. That's, that. that's totally new. When the team review the video from the dive, they're even more astounded. They discover another 10 examples of this behavior. Each time a brittle star stalks and tries often successfully to catch an Antarctic silverfish. Then it appears to pin it to the bottom while it eats it. It's certainly exciting to see new and surprising behaviour in nature for the first time. But the significance of this is much greater. And that's because these are two of the most abundant species living in Antarctic waters. Antarctic silverfish frequently feed on the surface. So when they're eaten by a brittle star on the bottom, this traps the carbon in their bodies on the seafloor. Because both species are so abundant, this newly discovered behaviour has implications for understanding how carbon is being removed from the atmosphere. It's a process that could be playing a role in slowing down man-made climate change. We didn't expect at all that this fish would also be transferred to the bottom. So all the carbon which is contained into this fish then transported directly to the bottom of the ocean and ultimately buried there. There are more than 2,000 species of brittle star, but none are known to have toxins in their arms or poisonous spines. So how they're able to immobilise the fish is a mystery. It looks like if it's a poison. I mean, we do know quite a lot of organisms, including marine organisms, which are very efficient at poisoning their prey. And I, I think this is the case. We've made a discovery, but now it means that we have to, to do further research to really understand what we've seen here. But this is a remote part of the world which is expensive and difficult to visit. So until another expedition to Antarctica can investigate the discovery further, there's just this unique video and the knowledge that these hunting stars are active on the southern ocean floor. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, off West Antarctica. And you can find much more about this with our online interactive video on aljazeera.com forward slash Antarctica. Our voyage of Antarctica shows what climate scientists have discovered about whales, glaciers and icebergs, just to mention a few things during their three-month trip.